I found uh, that uh, sometimes it's a bit more challenging to provide an introduction uh, to someone, for someone who needs none. And I think that's certainly the case here today. Um, we are extremely happy to have our next speaker be part of this year's conference. He has devoted his entire professional life to geography and to making geography the international language of communication and collaboration. Along the way, he has created uh, the world's largest GIS company and has contributed significantly to the creation and evolution of the geospatial industry, without which organizations like GITA certainly would not exist. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the founder and president of the ESRI, Mr. Jack Dangerman. Thank you for that nice introduction, Bob, and I appreciate it. Um, I'm extraordinarily impressed by you. <laughs> I looked through the resumes of some of your backgrounds. It's, it's an amazing meeting, Ron, that you started, and I appreciate the chance to be here. Uh, Ron's been asking me to come for years and years, and finally I'm here, so birthplace of GIS, Canada, uh, gravitational point for GIS, BC, and uh, you. That's very nice. Um, some of you who know me probably know when I talk, I like people to meet each other first. It makes me not so nervous because it forces you to talk first. And uh, so what I'd like to do is have you meet one new person now and tell them who you are and why you're here. It's a good way to kick off the meeting. So do that for me, would you? <laughs> Turn around, meet somebody. You should do that. <laughs> somebody new. <laughs> Okay, that's good. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. So GIS and geography are all about, um, or maybe I should say, GIS is very dependent upon human relationships and integration, and uh, getting the relationships right is a key part, isn't it? I mean, to sharing and to working together in collaboration. So I like that little dimension, and I think uh, that'll be what goes on, of course, tonight at the party and every break, and uh, about 40 years ago, I went to my first conference right out of school, and that happened to me. I met six or seven key people at the conference. It was like, changed my life. <laughs> they, got me going, they gave me some first business, they, uh, they really helped me a lot. And I re really realized that you, the human dimension of, of our work, geospatial computing or geography, is, is perhaps most important. This morning I want to talk about geographic information systems and the web. Uh, as I, I really don't have to introduce what I do, you know that pretty much. We, my colleagues and I build tools. Uh, that other people actually apply in various ways. My background is actually as a landscape architect. Uh, that's what I went to school in, in environmental science. Uh, in there, they teach what I guess I would call the application of geography, using geographic information to design and plan things or create the future for a garden or for a park or for a city or for a region. And I was heavily influenced by a fellow by the name of Ian McCarg, who's uh, a few years ago passed away, but he started this notion of design with nature. He could have said design with geography. He's very passionate about it. And um, so in some ways, the history of GIS has been definitely influenced by that thinking, the idea of bringing scientific information into the realm of daily applications. So the, the vision I want to talk about today initially is, is a vision, and then I'll bring it into technical speak on the web, is the idea of applying geography or taking what one might call the geographic approach. And you, many of you, are doing exactly that. You're applying geographic science 
uh, in, in some way. And I guess GIS professionals or geospatial uh, programmers and, and application people and people that bring it to the web are, are really fundamentally creating, I would say, a new approach. A new approach to thinking, a new approach to deciding about things, a new approach to where you put your foot down, <laughs> considering the footprint of, uh, of impact, all of those things. Um, it, it's, I think, almost an advocacy for me, the idea that people consider the whole stack. And it's also my belief system that this, um, that this makes a difference, that it will help us create a better future. Today, our world has lots of problems to solve. We need just read the newspaper this morning or yesterday or the day before or the day before. <laughs> Uh, increasing population, global warming. Al Gore did a very nice job of bringing it to people's minds. And, I, and, and, I, and you should notice that he does a lot of graphics and geographics in his presentations, right? People are using it to, uh, to understand it. We have social conflicts. We're at war. We have resource shortages, loss of biodiversity. All these things we care about. And it's sort of my sense that we need a new approach. That's why I'm so excited to be with you. We need an approach that brings more knowledge and more awareness, an approach which is more comprehensive, Ian McCarg's notion of looking at the whole stack. Uh, we need an approach that is, drives better efficiency in the way we drive and do our activities, one that conserves nature, one that facilitates collaborative action built on human relationships. Um, well, I might say, fundamentally, I think we need a change. And I'm not a, I'm not a doom and gloom guy. <laughs> That's not who I am. On the other hand, God, it's getting weird. <laughs> I mean, it is. Isn't it, doesn't it make you a little uncomfortable? I mean, it does me a lot. The, so we might say that the world needs an approach for how to change how we see things, how we see patterns and relationships, and here I'm talking about society at large, um, bring about a better understanding of things, the consequences or implications, and also a new approach about how we do things, actually, how we actually decide or design or, or help or redevelop or restore all of those things. Geography, the science of our world, helps us see the world. I like to think of it as a context language. It helps us see, see the world as a whole. It helps us see the world as a living, changing, evolving thing, like our bodies. Um, it helps us see how we're part of it. And certainly, considering some of the trends that are going on, we need to bring that awareness. It provides us a context for understanding our world. The geographic approach is a framework for not only understanding, but also managing. And it calls for creation of geographic knowledge and also application of geographic knowledge. Creation meaning the measurement, um, the organizing, and the measurement and getting it accurate, Carlos, and the organizing of it, the semantic definitions, um, putting in physical place, the, the analyzing of it, the modeling of natural processes of change, cultural processes of change, and also the application of it. It's one thing to say, hmm, we're advancing geographic science, we understand our world better, but also the landscape architect in me says, how do we apply that for knowing where we put our footprint down knowing how to design the forest so it's sustainable, knowing how to design the city, knowing how like that. Um, managing, acting, or fundamentally acting. And uh, You guys know that the, 